It's three and three. And tea. Hi, I'm Canadian children's book author and illustrator Debbie ridpath I'm Andrea Mack, an educator, book blogger, and children's book author. And we're excited to welcome you to the third episode of Three and Three and Tea. Each episode, we recommend three books for young people, each written or illustrated by Canadian. One picture book, one middle grade, and a third book we've been reading. My tea today is laughter, a gift from a friend. How about you, Andrea? I'm drinking an apple cinnamon tea. And now to our Three and Three. It's Three and Three and Tea. Today's picture book is This Is How I Know, written by Brittany Luby and illustrated by Joshua Mangashik Pawish Steckley. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. And published by Groundwood Books. This was written in Anishinaabe Moan as well as English. I really love having dual language books in the classroom for students to explore. A great way for students to get introduced to Indigenous culture. After reading this, my students discuss their own individual ways of knowing the seasons. Could easily be extended into a writing activity or an art activity with painting or collage. That would be amazing for a bulletin board display. There are many creatures and plants mentioned in this story which could be investigated further in a class inquiry. Or go on a nature walk with your class and talk about how they are knowing the seasons right at that moment. I really, really liked this book and so did my students. We are so happy to feature the middle grade novel Like a Duck by Canadian author Deborah Kerbo, published by Scholastic Canada. I don't know about you, but I love books with interesting animals, like the duck in this story. Webster is a comfort animal that helps the main character, Sarah, when she feels stressed. Talking about what to do when you feel stressed is a really great topic for class discussion. Afterwards, students could record their ideas on cards to put on the wall or in a basket in a corner of the classroom to visit when they feel stressed. A great literacy activity related to this story is to make a list of seven things people should know about their pet or themselves. For more teaching ideas and links, visit my blog. Our third pick today is Raindrops to Rainbow, written by John Miklos Jr. and illustrated by Canadian artist Charlene Chua. It's published by Penguin Workshop. With this story as inspiration, young students can go on color hunts around the classroom and use their findings to create a giant rainbow collage. Also a great story to get kids listening for rhymes or talking about their feelings. See my blog for more ideas. Thank you for joining us in our third episode of Three and Three and Tea. Be sure to check out Andrea's blog for the resources we've mentioned. If you enjoyed this episode, we'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word about the books we've talked about, as well as Three and Three. Until next time, keep reading. It's Three and Three and Tea.